So in this video, we will see the second type of uh, operation of an array that is insertion, right? Inserting an element in the array. So how you are going to insert an element to the existing array of elements, okay? So let me take the same example, library. You have a shelf in the particular row. You have lot of uh, books arranged in an order. Suppose if you want to insert a book, what you will do? You will, if, uh, if you want to insert a book onto the end, then what you will do, You if there is space, you can easily insert the book onto the end of the rack, right? Second case, let me take. If you want to insert the book in the middle of the rack, then what will you do? You will just shift the books towards one side and then you will be inserting the uh, new book to the middle of the rack. Same concept is applied in inserting an element in the array. So if this is your array, you are going to take two cases. Say for example, I am taking the array name is A and the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so what will be your length? Length will be 5, right? And the <laughs> index will be 0 to 4. So there are two cases. If you want to Mm, uh, insert an element at the end of the array then what you do you just increase the upper bound or increase the index right so that is your case one okay and what is your case two if you want to insert uh, an element in the middle of the array so these are the two cases which you are going to see so before go before going on to the two cases what is meant by inserting an element in the array adding a new data element to an already existing array Okay, so as I have mentioned, we are going to see the two cases, algorithm for two cases. First case, inserting an element at the end of the end of the array. So you have, it is very simple, right? At the end of the array, if you want to insert, set upper bound is equal to upper bound plus one. What is your upper bound? It is nothing but your upper index, okay? So what is in this case, what is your upper index? Four is your upper index. So what will happen? Upper bound, four. Set the upper bound is equal to upper bound plus 1. So, now your upper bound will be equal to 5. Okay. So, you will be adding one more index to it. Okay. Now, the value VAL stands for the value. Okay. Value or the number or the element which has to be added. That will be assigned to the upper bound. A of upper bound. So, array of what is your upper bound now? 5. A of 5 is equal to Suppose if I want to insert 100, so the 100 will be inserted here, okay? So this is your example, then exit. I hope you, you would have understood it. So already let us consider the existing elements are 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. So now 100 is inserted to the end of the array. Same example, I am going to take it for the second case. Algorithm inserting element at the middle of the array. Suppose if I want to insert this 100 in position 2. So in some cases the position will be equal to index and some cases position will not be equal to index. For example, in this I am considering, I am assuming that the position value is equal to your index value. There is no change. So in some other cases 1, 2, 3. If the position is 3, your index will be 3 minus 1. You will be taking in that way. So here I am, it is very important, I am taking the position is equal to your index value only. Okay, I am proceeding in that way. So your declaration of your insert function is insert a comma n comma pos comma value. So what is your a? A will be your array, n will be your number of elements. Okay, a will be your array, n will be your number of elements. What is your pos? Pos will be position. Okay of index I can tell okay because both are same I have taken VAL it is nothing but the value to be inserted new value to be inserted okay now how your algorithm starts with so step one you are going to set i is equal to n minus one what is your n number of elements right same example I am going to take what is your number of elements so let me take the number of elements as four zero one two three four right so what is your number of elements? N will be equal to 5. Index will be equal to 0 to 4. So the number of elements is first element, second element, third element, fourth element, fifth element. So N is equal to 5. So what first what you are going to set? Set I is equal to 5 minus 1. Now I has become 4. Okay. Now step 2. Repeat steps 3 and 4. 
while i is greater than or equal to position okay so before going on to the logic uh, to the algorithm let me first uh, tell what is happening in your uh, middle of the array what is the action happening so i am taking the same example array a of 1 will be equal to 20 a of 2 will be equal to 30 a of 3 will be equal to 40 a of 4 will be equal to 50 okay 0 sorry 0 1 2 3 and a of 4 will be equal to 60 i have taken it wrongly so index will always start with 0 so this is 0 1 2 3 4 okay 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Now suppose if I want to insert, let me say in the position 2, I have to insert the element, new element 100. Okay. So position 2 means it is the index also is 2. Okay. Is equal to 2. Instead of the index 2, instead of 40, now I have to insert your 100. So, I cannot insert it together, right? So, similar in the library book also, same case, I cannot insert, if I insert in between the middle, then the book which is already there will be uh, pushed out. So, so, similarly here, it will be overwritten. So, I want the 40 also to be written. So, what I will do, till the position 1, I will not make any changes. After the position 1, what I will do, I will keep on shifting this element towards your right. Okay, so first what I will do, I will shift the uh, index 4, the data 60 onto your index 5. Okay, now 60 will be moved to index 5, then so 60 will be moved to 5, then 50 will be moved to index 4. Right, then 40 will be moved to index 3. Now the index 2 will become free, right? So position 2 will become free. So, here you have 20 and here you have 30, 0, 1. So, here, so, when you are after shifting, your second position will be free. To this, you can insert your 100. This is what the logic which is happening. Same thing, I am going to explain it in terms of your algorithm. So, first, what is your first step? I am going to initialize a variable i is equal to n minus 1. n is equal to 5, right? The length is 5. So, 5 minus 1. Now, I have made i is equal to 4. Now you are going to use any one loop. In this case, I have taken the while loop. You have to repeat step 3 and 4 while i is greater than or equal to position. So while while i, what is your i4? Greater than or equal to what is your position? I have taken the example as 2. Whether 4 is greater than 2? Yes, it is true. Then it enters into the loop. Now what is your next step? It is true. So, set a of i plus 1. So, what is your i 4 plus 1? a of 4 plus 1 that is a of 5 is equal to a of 4. Now, what is the meaning of this? Now, the array of 5 will be assigned the value of a of 4. a of 4, what was the value? 60. That 60 will be now assigned to your a of 5. So, a of 1 will go, a of, sorry, a of 4 will go to your a of 5. Are you able to understand? Okay, after it is assigned now, 4 will go to your 5. Now, 4 is free, right? Now, after that, what is your next step? Set i is equal to i minus 1. Now, what is the next condition? i was equal to 4. So, 4 minus 1. Now, in the next case, i will become 3. Okay, after uh, i is equal to 3, again, it checks the condition. Whether 3 is greater than or equal to 2. Yes, the condition is true. Now, again, it uh, the same procedure happens. So, what will be happening a of i plus 1 right so what is your 3 plus 1 it is a of 4 is equal to a of 3 are you able to understand now 4 will uh, whatever is in the 4 mm, sorry whatever is in your 3 it will be shifted to your 4 so 50 will be shifted to your 4 after that i will be equal to i minus 1 so what was your i 3 3 minus 1 which was equal to 2 now it will check the condition whether 2 is greater than or equal to is there. So again the condition is satisfied. Now what will happen a of 3 will be moved to a of sorry a of 2 will be moved to a of 3. Right 2 will come to 3. Now 2 will become vacant. Are you able to understand? Now i is equal to i minus 1. 2 minus 1 it will become 1 right. Again it checks the condition 1 is greater than or equal to your position 2. So, it is false. It comes out of the loop. Now, what will happen? n is equal to previously the n was equal to 5. So, n will be equal to 5 plus 1. Now, n will be equal to 6. 
now second uh, array second index is free right in that now array of position so what is the value a of position is equal to 2 you are going to assign the value so 100 the value is 100 so 100 will be assigned to your a of 2 so exit hope you have understood this algorithm okay same using the same algorithm you are going to now write a program so see here this is one simple example what has been taken calling insert data 6 300 so what is your data it is nothing but your array name okay 6 means the number of elements what is your 3 3 is nothing the position and what is your 100 100 is nothing but your value so same example see here for the first step what will happen length is equal to 6 now so what will be your index 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this much will be your index now 5 will be given the index 5 value will be shifted to your 6th value that is your first step so 20 will be shifted here okay second case your 56 will be uh, shifted to your 5 see here okay so 20 is shifted here now 56 will be shifted in the second step that is your uh, a of 4 will be shifted to a of 5 next step a of 3 will be shifted to 12 will be shifted to your a of, a of 3 will be shifted to a of 4 okay so 3 will be shifted to a of 4 now uh, third step what you, your position to be replaced is in the third position 0 1 2 3 third position you have to insert your 100 so you have inserted your 100 okay So now let's see a program, okay, program to insert an element in an array. So include stdio.h which is your standard input output header file int main which indicates the start of the program. Now you are declaring uh, the variable and an array, okay. So what are your, what is your in uh, variables i, n, num and pos position array is declared as maximum size is equal to your 10 so what all these are in the data type of integer that is why you have int okay so i why it is used i have told you for has the family right so for loop for instead of using the for for using for loop you will be using the variable i what is your n n is equal to a number of elements what is your num num is nothing but your value uh, value what so instead of using value val here you have used num okay so, so we have used 100 now the element to be inserted that is the number to be inserted so position in which position you have to insert so it is denoting the index position also if i want to insert in the position 2 index 2 then uh, your position is equal to 2 array name is arr and your 10 is your maximum size so first what you have to do you have to first enter the number of elements in an array right so for that you have to ask uh, the user so print f slash and enter the number of elements in the array so your array name is a r r now you are going to enter the elements of the array suppose if i have entered 5 so 0 1 2 3 4 okay length is equal to 5 means you will be having index will be 0 to 4 so it has to store somewhere right you have a uh, user has entered 5 now it will go and store in number of elements so in the address n okay so now n will be equal to 5 okay now for i is equal to 0 0 i less than n i plus plus now once your array uh, array size is ready now you can enter the elements now one by one you have to enter the elements that is why you are going to use the next uh, next for loop okay for i is equal to 0 first for i is equal to 0 whether i is less than n what is the value for uh, um, uh, n here n is equal to 5 whether i is 0 is less than 5 yes if 0 is less than 5 what it is asking print enter the values so in the uh, console window you will be having enter the value so first value you are going to enter for example i am entering 20 okay 20 so where it will go and store scan of percentage d format specifier because it is an integer it is percentage d and now it will be storing in array of 0 right i is equal to 0 for first case so 20 will be stored in array of 0 okay 
now next step is what i will be incremented i will be equal to 1 again it checks the condition whether 1 is less than 5 yes the condition is true again enter the value second number i am entering it's scanf array of i array of 1 it will be entered so this happens again like next case i will be incremented i will be equal to 2 2 is whether 2 is less than 5 yes it is true again enter the value suppose i am entering 40 it will go and enter in array of 2 okay next i will be incremented i will become 3 now whether 3 is less than 5 yes again the same process happens let me enter the value as 50 it will be entered in array of 3 okay next i will be incremented 4 when it becomes 4 4 is less than 5 yes it condition is true again i am going to enter the next value 60 now when i becomes 5 i is 5 is less than 5 no it is false it comes out of the loop right now it comes out of the loop print f now you are asking for the number to be inserted so what which number has to be inserted 100 right so this will go and store in 100 will store it has to go and store somewhere right what is a variable used here num right so scan of percentage d ampersand num so now num will be equal to the number which has to be inserted is equal to 100 will be assigned to the variable num clear till this now print f now you you know what is the number now now you have to know where which position you have to enter right so that's why you will be using printf enter the index position at which the number has to be added so let me give the index position as 2 2 means 0 1 2 instead of 40 now you have to enter the value as 100 okay so now you have entered the position where it will go and store it has to store in your ampersand position pos now will be pos will be equal to the variable pos will be assigned the value as 2 now this is your loop for your shifting operation okay so see here very carefully for i is equal to n minus 1 so what will be what is your n now n is equal to 5 right now what will be your i i is equal to n minus 1 so 5 minus 1 which is 4 first condition i is equal to 4 next it checks the condition whether 4 is greater than or equal to position what is your position 2 yes if the condition is true now 4 is greater than or equal to 2 now it enters into the loop now what will happen array of i plus 1 so what is your i 4 plus 1 array of 5 is equal to array of i 4 so array of 5 is equal to array of 4 that is the array of 4 fourth element will be now shifted to your fifth index okay so 60 will be shifted here array of 4 will be shifted to array of 5 will be assigned the value of array of 5 okay now after this is happening see here there is no you can use uh, uh, for after for loop you will be using a curly braces right so if there is no curly braces what automatically the compiler will take this uh, next statement next to the for loop as your your uh, only statement right so again it goes and uh, does the decrement here it is decrement i minus minus so now after this step it will decrement the value for i now i was equal to 4 4 minus 1 now i will become 3 okay then it checks the condition whether 3 is greater than or equal to 2 yes the condition is true again this will be executed so array of 3 plus 1 that is array of 4 will be equal to array of 3 okay so now 4 will be shifted the 3 is yeah now uh, 4 is shifted to 5 similarly now the array of 3 will be assigned to array of 4 okay array of 3 will be assigned to array of 4 now 50 will be shifted to array of 4 are you able to understand now again i will be decremented now i was equal to 3 now i is equal to 2 uh, now it checks the condition whether 2 is greater than or equal to 2 yes the condition is true so again the array of now array of 3 2 plus 1 is 3 right array of 3 will be assigned what value array of 2 now 40 so array of 2 will be assigned to array of 3 40 will be shifted so now your array of uh, 2 now again it decrements right i will become 1 now whether 1 is greater than or equal to 2 no the condition is false now it comes out of the loop and it executes the next step are able to understand now array of 2 will be free right so in array of position what is your array of position position is equal to 2 array of 2 will be assigned what value the num value in the num what is stored 100 
So, 100 will be assigned to now array of 2. So, in your position 2, now 100 will be assigned. There is no change in the first 2, that is 0th and first index. Now, 100 is inserted to your index position 2. Okay. Now, after that, you are incrementing the value. If n was equal to 5, now, now n has become 6. n plus 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6. Now, you have done the process. Now, you have to, in the output window, you have to see, right, the array after insertion of percentage d. So, you are writing the array after insertion of percentage d is comma now. So, this percentage d will be replaced by num. So, what will be the value? The array after insertion of 100 is for that you are going to display now these elements are to be displayed one by one so what you will be using for loop for i is equal to it starts from zero same thing what you have written here same code you are going to write here for i is equal to zero first condition zero less than six now i has become six now uh, sorry n has become six so whether zero is less than six yes then it prints array of percentage d is equal to percentage d so first percentage d will be equal to i array of i is 0. So, array of 0 will be equal to next percentage d will be equal to array of i. So, small array of 0. What will be the value? Array of 0, what is the value? So, tw 20 will be displayed. Are you able to understand? So, similarly, next step i will be incremented. i will be equal to 1. So, 30 will be displayed. So, slash in 20, 30, 40, 50, 6, uh, sorry, 20, 30, 100, 40, 50, 60 will be displayed. Return 0. After, uh, what will be the condition where it is uh, false? Whether uh, I, this happens still whether uh, 6 is less than 6. No. Right. So, 0 to 5 is your index. So, 0 to 5, you, it will be displayed. So, this is your output window. So, enter the number of elements. In the array, I have entered it as 5. Next, enter the values 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Enter the number to be inserted is 100. Enter the index position at which the number has to be added, second position. So, the array after insertion will be equal to array of 0 is 20, array of 1 is 30, array of 2 is 100, 40, 60. So, this is your output.